Chris, I wanted to show you, here's your bow stop, all uh, painted up Aztec gold. Uh, we have plastic caps that go in the end here and in the end here so that you don't end up with uh, uh, bees nests inside here. And uh, here's your trailer. Um, we are uh, running the brake lines right now. And also, and so here's your electric over hydraulic brake controller. And this is the battery for your um, jack. There's also a crank that uh, you can keep in your car uh, or um, we may find a place to store it on the trailer. That would probably be a smart thing to do. Uh, in case your battery goes dead, then um, you can crank this guy. Um, the battery, of course, is a sealed battery. It can go underwater. Um, and it will be charged um, through your... It'll be charged through your... Uh, your... Uh, connector on the on your truck uh trailer or rv um and this is uh it's got led lights to show you uh as indicators if your light's not working in the back and, and your leds are working of course then there's a wiring problem or if your led's not working then you got a problem if, if led's not lighting up then you got a problem in your tow vehicle um putting your new safety chains on here your old ones were uh these nasty guys right here uh, a lot of rust they were galvanized but uh, i was afraid to trust those so we did away with those uh, of course so here's all your new bunks and bunk carpet um, new marker lamps because they had been torn off uh, and uh, there was a rip in the metal on this side it had been hooked on something and we got all that straightened out there was also a dent down here on your fender. That's all straightened out. Um, we're getting the plastic pipes to go over these right now as we speak. My guy's uh, coming home with a plastic pipe shortly. Um, and uh, new lighting in back. And the uh, all the terminations are in junction boxes. And... Uh, Let's see, what else can I show you about it? Um, of course, all new poly brake line and your disc brakes back here on uh, all wheels. And uh, so anyway, uh, oh, spare tire carrier. Uh, we have the spare tire. We just don't have it up here at this shop. Um, we're assembling it where we did the paint work. And um, your winch is uh i'm going to suggest that we just put a new winch on your winch is going to be the only old looking thing on the entire trailer so uh you may want to replace the winch let me know if you want to do that they're about 100 bucks or so uh, we have center the center caps ordered our tire and wheel supplier used to send us uh well the one we normally use is our trailer part supplier and they would send us the center caps with the wheels. Uh, they've not been able to get wheels and tires, these units. So we've been uh, putting the uh, uh, center caps, uh, uh, the new supplier doesn't send the center caps. So we got those ordered. Um, your uh, wiring uh, for your, uh, all your wiring like this one right here, we heat shrink around this where it goes through the frame. So that's got an extra layer of protection. And then of course we put a grommet over here on this on this one because we, we had to drill that hole anyway. So we, we put a grommet over there on that one. So they won't short out on you. And um, so anyway, it ends up being a, a brand new trailer. I mean, the only thing that we that is uh, on this that's original is the original steel. And um, so, uh, matter of fact, not even all of that steel is original. We did have to put a new tongue in right here, and we had to put a new, um, a new uh, uh, piece right there as well, new channel. This weld over here 
is purely for show to make it look like the other side uh, and make it uh, make it look like it was intent intended to be built that way and uh, instead of having to repair over there. So anyway, uh, just want to give you the status on that and uh, we'll talk to you soon.